something's missing. This feels right, because it's the right thing to do, America! Hey guys, so I just saw 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, and it was a Michael Bay, America, explosion-loving fun fest. And I liked it. So let's get something out of the way with first here. This actually wasn't a bad Michael Bay movie. I know. Like, legit. It actually was decent. I'm not joking. I actually think it was decent. The film is about the security agents that were in Benghazi on the event in 2012 where a US ambassador was taken prisoner sort of in his own home and then they were forced to defend off ruthless insurgents until they were eventually exfiltrated out of the country. And holy crap this movie is intense. Not only are we in a situation where it is basically the Alamo in Libya but the intensity of the scenes, the intensity of the actors, and the intensity of the America. I couldn't believe how much of an America boner this film had. I'm Canadian, and this film was making me want to just love freedom so much. There are still some very bad humor moments. There was about three really badly placed Michael Bay jokes, but that was it. That was it, people. He was kept in line. No, okay, there was one misogynistic joke. But other than that, it was actually on the level. Michael Bay was trying to make a film with characters. And the funny thing is too, there's no old flyovers with the US Air Force. So instead of giving his boner to the US Air Force, which he usually does, he gave it 100% to the seal. Another thing though, I'm gonna say this, I don't know how much of it is true in a sense of how much this film is relatable to the actual event. Someone told me if there's more than two explosions then it's already bullshit. There was at least 30. <clears throat> this was ground fights though. This was purely from RPGs. There was a mortar that was used at one point but most of this was all small arms fire. There was a bomb and a bus though that went off that was hilarious and super awesome. The film has an intense feeling throughout, even before the event starts. When we are introduced to our characters as they come into the country, we see that this constant level of distrust of who's who and who's a villain, who's a target. A lot of things that I liked, especially in the films like The Hurt Locker, where you couldn't tell who was who. That is what I liked about this film. Basically, Michael Bay made his own version of Black Hawk Down. Basically, he even makes a reference. One of the characters makes a reference about the entire Black Hawk Down incident. That's what this movie is. It's his Black Hawk Down. So what do you want to know? Do you want to know if the action scenes are intense? Hell yes, they are. Holy crap. The intensity of them is insane. The sound design is fantastic. The filmmaking is really good. When I say filmmaking, I mean the production scale, I mean the camera movement, I mean everything that goes into making a scene intense. Michael Bay once again proves that while he may not have much in here for characters or story, he definitely can make a good action scene. Holy crap, guys, I am not kidding. I think this is Michael Bay's best work in a long time. These guys were a bit of an old gun-toting, yeah, America free caricature, but they still had some elements to them. The only thing that I would possibly say is that some of these elements are far too pushed. There's a scene where one of the characters is talking about his wife and his kids, and his kids are thinking, well, at least what he thinks, that why is dad going over there to fight for someone's other country? Why is he going over there to die for someone else? Why is he going off and possibly going to die in a place that doesn't matter anything to him? And the whole time you're just thinking, freedom boat. Freedom boner, freedom boner. That is another thing. If you're expecting America propaganda crap just like I am right now, you're gonna get it in this movie. It is insane how much. There's a scene where the Libyans are shooting at this American flag that's in the ambassador's area, the embassy, and it's all in slow motion. You just see the flag going like I was laughing my goddamn ass off. There's another scene too where a guy just looks at them and is like, I'm proud we have Americans like you. At least to say this felt like, 
As good as the action scenes are and as intense as the feelings are, there are some stereotype characters, not just talking about the soldier stereotypes, but just some stereotypes. There's a stereotype dick, there's a stereotype nerd, there's a stereotype black guy. I think they got the black guy from Ghostbusters in this movie. When I say stereotype black guy, I'm not talking about terribly racist stereotype black guy, I'm talking about kind of Danny Glover stereotype black guy. But again, this film did what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to show the absolute incredible adversity that these soldiers fought, faced and what they did in the face of overwhelming odds and how their basically commitment to keeping each other alive push them through this and whether or not it's completely bullshit at least from the film's point of view this film was entertaining it was enjoyable sure the characters were a bit eh, sometimes but actually it's probably some of the deepest characters that michael bay has ever put the film i i'm not kidding he actually had good characters and we're not talking about funny but terrible characters like in pain gain i actually mean good characters. So in the end, what do I think of 13 Hours of Secret Soldiers of Benghazi? Well, if I were to compare it, I would think Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor was actually a really good January release that was a military biopic, and I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much I bought the Blu-ray. This one, I don't know, but I definitely can see that he was trying to get some Black Hawk Down and Lone Survivor vibes. So in the end, I'm gonna give 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, 51 stars out of 50. Cause you just can't stop the freedom. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I actually was loving the idea of coming home and putting all this crap on when I came home to talk about it. But no, I'm actually being serious. I did enjoy this film. I think it was well made. The sound design was great. The gunfights were fantastic. The characters, while silly in certain ways, were good. The majority main cast anyways. There was a CIA dick, but that's commonplace for these types of movies. Whether the film is accurate or not, I don't know. I'm not a person to call on that. Please don't get all ragey on me in the bottom if you're like, whoa, you're supporting this propaganda. I enjoyed it, but I understand that it's American crap. Like, the, the, the level of America jacking off in this film was so insane. There is so much that I love to joke about with this movie, but the problem is I still really enjoyed it. I might buy this film when it comes out. I might read into the events before that, however, but either way, it's a fun film, and you guys, at least the military boners of us all, will enjoy this movie. Anyway guys, that's all from me, I'll see you later.